So you want to build a quiz. You want to build a recommendation engine. You want to build something that people will try, they'll engage, they'll like it, and they will share it. Uh, you can even collect people's information in terms of lead gen if you want to do that as well. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a product called Smart Quiz Builder. It is absolutely amazing. So we're going to build a little recommendation engine on what should we, where should we vacation next, okay? It's, a, it's going to be, Quiz Builder supports a lot of different kinds of uh, uh, quizzes. In this case, I'm going to show you the personality one. That's the one I like the most, so I'm going to show it to you, All right? You come in, and in display settings, you go, oh, do I want an in-page? Do I want it to pop up? Do I want to show a progress bar? Do I want to collect their name and email before I show them the results? Do I want them to see the next button and move along? I chose not to, so you see all of these guys are not uh, toggled. And then, hey, pick a template, and, and you have different kinds of templates. You're going to go, okay, but what does that look like? I'm going to show you, right? So here we go. You have a where should we vacation next? I put a picture. I put a little text. Take this quiz. That's the start button. And I can adjust every bit of this stuff over here, right? So if I want to change the color of the frame, right, they give me a shot. If I want to change the color of the border, right, I can do that. Uh, if I want to affect the shadow, I have all these controls, right? So they got a lot of stuff going on just to make it easy. This is not complicated. There is no code involved at all. But let's go to where it gets fun. So the way they build this out, right, Smart Quiz Builder is smart. So they're going to have me create the answers before I create the questions. And that's just brilliant because then trying to string up the logic to go from question to answer is a lot easier when you have the endpoints. So we start with outcomes. I created eight different outcomes. Here's one, last minute vacations from Expedia. Here's another one, right? This is camping. Here's another one, a cruise. Another one is a regional hike. Uh, what about rafting? Uh, check out the Grand Canyon right? Uh, what about the Camino de Santiago, which maybe you've never heard of? And uh, what about visiting the Great Wall of China, right? And for each one of these guys, there is an image, there is some text, and there's a button with a link that you can configure, right? So you come over here, you go to edit this, it says, what do you want the text to be? What do you want the link to be, right? So this is all about the Camino. All right, so these are the outcomes. Great. Now we get to the questions. I asked three questions only to be able to get to those. And in fact, if I asked three questions and I wanted you to only have one answer per all the combinations, I would have to put twice as many different outcomes in there. But I have enough outcomes, so it's looking pretty good. Three questions. Now, if you want, you can say, ooh, make each option that they pick be a picture. So you can click this answer with an image. I didn't want that, so I have three answers here. But remember that I didn't toggle that whole next button that's because I don't want you to do next. I just want you to click an answer and it'll take you to the next question. I'm doing single choice. You could do multiple choice where you have to check some boxes, but then of course you have to hit the next button because you got to know that you're really done. In this case, no, nope, I just single choice, pick one of these and you'll see, right? What kind of spender are you? I don't want to spend a lot of money, right? I don't mind spending some money or I have a lot of money to spend. That's question number one, right? Question number two, what kind of vacationer? I, I look for relaxation, I look for adventure, I look for excursions. Okay, there you go. And question number three, what kind of planner are you? I like to wing it, I wanna schedule things. Oh, hey, I'm a, I'm a serious planner, I like a year in advance. Those three questions are gonna tell me everything I need to know to make a recommendation, right? So how does this work? Well, when I go to the first question and I see three answers, Every time I add an answer, it gets loaded up in here, but now I can connect the outcomes, right? So I can say, hey, if you picked this one, these are all the options for you, okay? Um, I didn't put Camino and Great Walmart in because it'll cost you some money to pull that off. Um, over here, you go, I have a budget, right? I don't mind an occasional here or there. Still not gonna click those, but you got several other options, right? Um, and then, uh, hey, you have the money. Right? Well, you know, you can get an expensive cruise, that still works, but also now the Grand Canyon, the Camino and Great Wall, that, that'll cost you, you know, a little bit more, right? But the point is, it's not just the answer to that one question, because I'm going to go to question number two, and I'm going to do the same things. Which ones am I going to pick based on the answers? And you're going to see, oh yeah, if you're an adventurer, hiking, rafting, Grand Canyon, Camino, Great Wall, they're all options for you, so that's great news. 
Same kind of thing over here, you get to decide. And you do that again with the third one, right? Same thing, I go in and I pick this. Now, if you uh, are, are interested in collecting people's information, then normally what I would do is I would activate the lead gen. In this case, I did not activate it. But I would say, hey, before I tell you the best vacation, you can do that. This is a great way to collect leads for your website. And then it ends by giving you a short code. And what I do, right, and you'll see it lower in this post, right? But if I go to a sample, this is not going to be there later, right? Uh, but this is where I've been testing it. Uh, and I go over here and I go, uh, let's see, to the vacation test, you will see exactly what it looks like, right? Here it is. It's looking pretty good. Take the quiz. Now, I got those options right here, right? And I go, uh, I have a, let's say I have a budget, right? Okay. And that says, what kind of vacationer? And I go, ooh, I like to relax. And then it says, what kind of planner? And uh, I like to schedule things out, a few months out. Not crazy, right? Boom. And it's going to go and do the work. It's going to come back and say, hey, the answer is always a cruise. Now, we know for a fact the answer wasn't always a cruise. There are a lot of different options. But it explains why. And then it gives me a link. And when I click on it, boom, it takes me to cruises where I can search. This has never been easier. It is so nice to have a simple solution it can be more complicated. Remember, I told you at the front end, right? I was like, they have assessments, they have scoring, they have surveys. So you can make it way more complicated if you want. Also, uh, we were somewhere in here, I think, right? Uh, here, right? Enable branching. You can do it where I ask a question and then based on that question, I ask you a different question and you can create dependencies between questions. Notice I didn't do that. So what am I telling you? Smart Quiz Builder can do a lot more than what I showed you. But it is, it is easy. It is easy. It is engaging, right? It doesn't look like one of those medical forms that you get when you go in to check in with a doctor and they're like, just fill out all this info. And that's what most people do when they're building out forms. So it is easy. It is visual and engaging. And it produces a way to generate leads. Man, uh, I don't think you can get better than that. So check out Smart Quiz Builder.